can grow larger than your head. Some are covered with barbed hairs they can throw at your eyes to blind you. Their fangs can be as long as the width of your thumbs, and if they bite you, they'll inject venom into your skin. Their mouths secrete digestive enzymes to liquefy their victims. Then these terrifying predators could start to eat you while you're still alive and watching it. Here's how to survive a tarantula bite. There are more than 800 known species of tarantulas. They live in every continent except for Antarctica in tropical, subtropical, and arid areas. Unlike other species of spiders, they live in burrows, which can be underground, under rocks and logs, in caves, and in trees. Some species can live up to 40 years, and other species, like the Goliath bird eater, can be huge. This giant lives in South America's rainforest and grows up to 30 centimeters long. It can hunt birds, frogs, lizards, and mice. How will you know if a tarantula is going to bite you? What can its venom do to you? Are you likely to die from a tarantula bite? Although they're popular pets, if a tarantula feels threatened, it can attack you. Some tarantulas can cause pain and medical problems that last for weeks. Step one, read the warning signs. Normally, tarantulas are mild-mannered, slow-moving creatures. But when they feel threatened, they'll let you know. First, a tarantula will lift one or two of its front legs, warning you that it's in defensive mode and you better get back. If you persist, it will raise its front legs to let you see its agitated thorax so you know it's not joking. It might show you its fangs and even show you a drop of venom. That means you've gone beyond the first warning, so you need to step back and get some distance from the spider. Step two, don't get too confident. Yes, many people keep tarantulas as pets, but even if you have a pet tarantula and think it's a great companion, it's important to respect your pet. Dr. Joan Fuchs of the Swiss Toxicological Information Center reported that a 45-year-old man was bitten on his finger by his regal parachute tarantula. At first, the wound was red and it swelled. Two hours later, the man began sweating and hot flushing started. 15 hours later, he had to rush to the emergency room with severe muscle cramps and tightness in his chest. He survived, but the muscle cramps continued for three weeks after treatment. So don't get too confident and handle your pet with your hands. Instead, use a long stick in proper containers. Step three, cover your eyes. In the Western Hemisphere, the urticating hairs covering the tarantula's body are even more dangerous than their venomous fangs. When a predator attacks them, these tarantulas release a cloud of little barbed hairs to irritate the attacker's skin and even blind people temporarily. Dr. Sia Karam of St. James University Hospital in Leeds, UK, remembers a case in which his patient was cleaning up his Chilean rose tarantula's cage. The tarantula felt threatened and released a mist of hairs at him. The hairs found their way to the back of the patient's eyeball. They were so small, even surgical methods could not remove them. So the hospital treated him with steroids to flush the hairs away. To be safe, you'd better cover your eyes before petting a tarantula. Step four, head to the hospital fast. If a tarantula bites you, clean the wound with soap and water and then seek medical attention. Even though the bite itself isn't likely to kill you, complications can. Two people in India died from complications after being bitten by a giant Kylobrachis tarantula. One person died due to gangrene in the foot. The other person was killed by hives. So don't take any chances and get to the hospital right away. Step five, don't smuggle. The illegal tarantula market can be lucrative. In 2018, many species were stolen from the Philadelphia Insectarium and Butterfly Pavilion. The species taken were worth $40,000 and they included the rare and beautiful Mexican Fire Lake Tarantula. No one was killed due to the theft, but living the thug life is hard. So buy your pets in certified pet stores. Phew, you survived a tarantula bite and maybe you even have a new pet. 
But if you're afraid of tarantulas and other spiders, you may want to know how to survive arachnophobia. We can help you with that here on How to Survive.